We are talking The Roost from 2005. And this is directed and written by Ty West. Ty West, does that name sound familiar? Yes, it does. Of course, he's most notable for directing the movie X and Pearl, and obviously the next one that's going to come out with Mia Goth. So he's become quite a big name uh, since this movie, which I believe was his first feature. And uh, this kind of forms part of my Bat uh, collection of uh, horror films that I kind of recently kind of picked up. This is the second one I'm reviewing. I previously reviewed Bats from 1999. So The Roost, this one stars Tom Noonan, sort of. And um, let's talk about it. So this basically follows group of four kind of friends they are kind of traveling to a wedding and they decide to take a shortcut and we all know how that ends up and they end up having car trouble um getting kind of stuck in the middle of the road and end up trying to have to go to this local farm where they have this kind of big barn however this big barn is home to a a large number of bats but these bats aren't any type of bats they actually are very vicious, very aggressive, but also carry a virus which turns you into a zombie. Yes, a zombie. Why? Who knows? It's never explained, but it does. Uh, so these are not vampire bats, these are zombie bats. I mean, the bats are alive, but you know. Anyway, obviously our kind of four kind of protagonists have to kind of try and fight off this kind of menace because they can't get away. Uh, we get a smattering of other, other characters as well. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, let's talk about what I think worked. So, I've doing this channel. You know, I've sometimes referred to a movie. This this movie is a little bit like this old or other movie. And sometimes I've referred to movies saying like they're they're, they're kind of like the Evil Dead. But this one really is very much has a similar feel to the original Evil Dead. Not Evil Dead 2, not the remake, the original Evil Dead. And the fact that it's obviously a kind of low budget kind of grindhouse um, movie, but it's it, it's very much, it feels like it's taking cues directly from the original Evil Dead. For example, the music. The music is very similar to that of the original kind of Evil Dead film. But even kind of some of the kind of like the, uh, the the stylings in it, for example, we have these kind of zombie attacks and they're kind of treated a little bit like the kind of the deadites in the kind of the um, the original Evil Dead movie, kind of like and kind of very kind of like, uh, you know, dotting around and it feels a lot like them. Uh, we get some scenes, for example, that's a scene on a bridge. We get a scene with a kind of a trap door. And it's like, hmm, this movie really feels like it's homaging the Evil Dead, but it's just kind of like the uh, our group of protagonists as well. Kind of feel like, the, you know, the group of people from the uh, original Evil Dead film. Um, so, you know, it, we have a kind of a male central character as well, similar to the, the Evil Dead, you know, movie. So it really does feel like a kind of, um, I, I wouldn't say an Evil Dead clone, but certainly a one that's inspired by it. Obviously with the added difference is that this movie has a bunch of bats as well as kind of like zombie creatures so yeah if you want a kind of a, a an, an evil dead approximation then you may want to check it out but it does also have that sort of kinetic energy at least sometimes that the evil dead movie does have as well it has this kind of like this frantic kind of feel to it in certain sequences that will definitely remind you of the aforementioned evil dead um I've got to say, obviously, for a low-budget 2005 movie, the bat effects are actually quite good. Now, they're not in it as much as, for example, uh, Bats from 1999. And, but what I would say is this movie is a lot more kind of like overtly horror than the uh, Bat 1999 film, which is kind of more of a sort of sci-fi adventure to some degree. Uh, this one definitely has a more of a kind of creepy factor. You know, you're alone in this kind of like dark barn um the, the horror aesthetics are certainly kind of more there uh, and it definitely does kind of have a few moments that I, I, I feel are genuinely a little bit kind of creepy a little bit scary a little bit more kind of things like jump scares and stuff like this uh i think our protagonists are they're not super developed but i think they're, they they seem quite kind of likable i think uh you know the the, the, the two male there's actually three males and one girl 
Uh, but two of the two of the guys really do feel like they're kind of friends, if you know. I mean, they could have a good kind of chemistry. Um, so, you know, I actually could have quite liked the kind of performances, I have to say, even though there's not a huge amount of their sort of characters. Um, and I think that things like, the, for example, the cinematography is actually pretty good here. It does have you this kind of like, I mean, they, they, they genuinely shoot in very dark places and at times it is quite dark, but I think it works for this movie because you're not meant to see certain things. You kind of, you're, you're just having this torch in the, in the dark and all you can see is the, the beam on the torch and things like that. So it's kind of what's out of you. So I think it kind of works. I mean, some films, they have this kind of like shooting sort of day for night where everything you just see is kind of like shot in the day and it just kind of like darkens and it gives the impression of night. But it doesn't look real, it doesn't look like that. That's not what night looks like on the camera. But this one, I've got to say, I think the cinematography is uh, is pretty good. And, you know, I've got to say, I think it had, um, you know, it was, it was a decent enough kind of, you know, uh, pace of the film where you kind of kept on. It's quite a short film, which we're going to touch on again. Um, it's about 70 minutes and that's 70 minutes including kind of a few bolt-ons, which I'll talk about. But yeah, so it's, it's a quite a lean film in regards to kind of its runtime. So I don't think you, you ever really feel bored in it. Although I have seen some reviews that where people did say they were bored in this film. So, but I didn't think so. So what doesn't work? I mean, going from what I've just said, some people say that they're bored of this film. There isn't a lot of plot in this one. Like I said, the, the kind of like the reason why these bats are turning people into zombies never explained. Never explained where they come from. Why isn't there other people have turned into zombies, you know, outside of this day? Don't know. So there's not a lot of setup in this film, it's fair to say. Um, and there's one or two times maybe where the action kind of stops to take a little bit of a breather, that maybe some people were complaining it was boring. I didn't think it was boring. But what I will say is the um, this movie's padded out with like this kind of horror show host. And we hear he has a, his top and tail of sequences. Uh, and he has a kind of a, 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 a part way through the film as well as kind of like a, um, like an interjection from him. And that's, that's played by sort of Tom Noonan's character in a kind of like crypt keeper kind of role. And I can only assume this was kind of added later to essentially pad the running time out. Otherwise, you'd, it'd only be about an hour long. So I'm assuming that this, this was probably added to, um, to give it more of a feature length feel. To take it, so we're still a mega 70 odd minutes, and you know, um, but it feels completely unnecessary. And I have to say, uh, I didn't like those sequences. Uh, nothing against Tom Noonan, but like, it just doesn't feel like it's relevant. Um, I mean, I guess you can argue it gives it this kind of stylistic choice, but yeah, it just seemed completely irrelevant and uh, broke the kind of, especially the one, the, the break that we have during mid film. I feel it kind of breaks the tension a little bit. So that that's that I didn't like. Um, as I've mentioned, there's, there's very little in regards to kind of character development here. We don't really know anything about our characters. They're just four people traveling to a wedding who end up kind of breaking down. But I couldn't tell you anything about their characters. Couldn't tell you anything about their sort of like uh, their names or their kind of their personalities or anything like that. Um, so, you know, it's very much of, it's just a kind of a film where Things happen and, you know, you've got to kind of like, just accept it. There are a few directorial choices that I would have maybe done a few retakes on. Just to give you one example, um, the first time we see a zombie, it's attacking one of our protagonists. And, like, you know, it kind of lurches and then, the, but it, like, the there's a guy who is attacking. It's, the, the guy playing the zombie clearly could just, you know, easily kind of reach the guy and bite him, but he doesn't because the, that's not what the story requires. So he said you can see him lurching, but only go so far and then sort of stop himself. And then you, that needed to, that needed to have a better take where the guy who was being attacked should be kind of like pushing him off and, you know, at least try and put him so he's at arm's length and things like that. But they said it's the actual kind of guy playing the zombie who kind of stops himself to. So it doesn't get sort of too close because at that point, the, the, you know, the, no one's kind of getting uh, a bitten or anything. So there's a few choice. There's a few kind of shots like this where I just feel like Ty West's kind of inexperienced at this point. Just kind of made a few shots that weren't pr quite as strong. Now, if we compare this to a movie like Bats, this movie is um, certainly uh, more of a horror movie than the, the aforementioned Bats from 1999. 
although certainly Bats had a much more of a, a high budget to it, uh, a bit more of an, a bit more of an actual story with develop, more developed characters. So at the end of the day, I suppose it's what you want. This is certainly more of an overt horror, and certainly, as they say, has this um, kind of Evil Dead kind of feel to it. There's even a kind of like POV style shot at one point. So. I'm going to say, though, I quite enjoyed it. I quite liked this movie. I thought it was quite a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I think probably Bats is probably superior made. But this just has a little bit more of a kind of a little bit more of an edge to it than I, than I would say that the Bats movie does. So for me, I actually kind of quite liked it. it, is, it I think it def definitely has more of a horror feeling, definitely more an unnerving film than, than that. So 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.